so it's the height of summer and with the heat of the summer come peppers and i've got quite a few varieties growing out in my garden but today we're going to focus on two anaheim's new mexico hatch chilies right here and poblanos we're going to roast some of these and we're going to make one of my favorite dishes a new mexico style chile verde green chili for our chili verde we need a few ingredients Obviously we need peppers, so we're gonna use our Anaheims and our Poblanos. We're gonna roast these over an open flame on my stove, get them nice and charred so we can peel them and give them that nice charred flavor, as well as oregano, cilantro, onions and garlic, and then bay leaf, cumin, and coriander. All that's gonna get stewed together with a bunch of pork shoulder, and it's gonna be super, super good. This recipe calls for about four pounds of cubed pork shoulder. Season it very well with salt and pepper. Doing this all on my cutting board here to make it even. Use a heavy bottom pan or a Dutch oven for this recipe. Heat it over high heat and add a splash of oil. You can see it's smoking because you want it nice and hot to get a golden brown crust on your pork. Add bits of seasoned pork to your pan. Do not overcrowd. You will need to do this in batches. I think I did three batches of pork to get it all golden brown. Leave a little bit of room around each bit of pork to make sure they get nice and golden brown. Slice three onions thin. You can dice them as well, but I prefer them sliced. I think it works better in this recipe. I love a lot of garlic in my food, so I'm using a whole head of garlic for this recipe. Crush your garlic to make it easy to peel and then give it a rough chop. After about five minutes, you wanna flip your pork. This is the color you're looking for, deep golden brown color. I use whole spices whenever I can in my food. The quality of fresh ground whole spices is far superior to that of pre-ground spices. Toast your coriander and cumin in a dry pan over medium heat for about two minutes until they just get fragrant. You will need a mortar and pestle or a coffee grinder for this. I like a mortar and pestle. Add your spices to it and grind it down till it's really nice and fine. Once all your pork has been browned, remove it all to a plate and then add your onions to the same pan. Leaving all those brown bits in there because that adds a ton of flavor to your chili. Add your garlic as well and let this saute down till it's just starting to soften. After a few minutes, this is what your onions will look like. And add your whole fresh oregano. If you don't have fresh, you can use dry. I just have fresh in the garden. Careful if you plant oregano in your garden, it tends to take over a bit. And also add your whole bunch of rough chopped cilantro. Add your ground spices and let those saute along with the onions and fresh herbs before adding your pork. You wanna saute your spices with the onions and fresh herbs a little bit. It really enhances their flavor even more. So don't skip this step. To prepare the peppers for your chili verde, you'll want to roast them over an open flame. I have a gas stove, so that works great for me, but you can also do this on a grill or you can do them under your broiler in your oven. You wanna get them really nice and dark like this. So put them over the flame and let them sit for a few minutes before flipping them. Make sure you turn your hood vent on because it will smell pretty strong like roasting peppers in your house. And if you're sensitive to spice, you for sure want to turn that hood vent on. Let them char till they're black almost all the way around the whole pepper. Then transfer it to a bowl and wrap that bowl in plastic wrap. You want to let the pepper steam for a little while to help soften them up and help the skins peel off much easier later. Peppers have steamed for a while and as you can see, 
just a little bit of effort, I'm able to rub the skin right off those peppers. So continue and peel all your peppers, getting rid of all the charred skin that's on there. You can do this under running water as well, but I find that you lose a lot of flavor. The next thing you want to do is open the peppers up and get rid of all the seeds. And if you're really sensitive to spice, get rid of the ribs in between the seeds as well. Rough chop your peppers, put them in a bowl to add to your chili. Once your onions, cilantro, herbs, and spices have sauteed for a while, add your chopped, roasted Anaheim and poblano peppers. Stir these into your chili mix before adding your pork. Add your pork back to the pan, along with any juices that have accumulated. Cover the pork with chicken stock or water. Add enough to just barely cover your bits of pork. Bring it up to a light simmer and then cover with a lid. Transfer to an oven and then cook in the oven for three hours. Shred the pork with a pair of forks, then serve with fresh cilantro and cornbread on the side. If you like our videos, please consider subscribing. Thanks a lot and see you next time.